The Everyman is one of England's longest running cinemas and is perfect for students who want to have an alternative cinema experience. I thought I'd come down and find out if Everyman is the every student cinema. There are over 300 comfy sofas making you feel as if you're in your own living room, each with its own shelf for keeping drinks, popcorn and your own footrest. The retro style of the cinema really creates a unique viewing experience and with only one screen it's even more personal. Drinks, popcorn, brownie sweets, they're all available at the bar and with staff on hand to cater to your every need, you definitely get your money's worth when it comes to great customer service. Film buffs can also benefit from the regular Q&As held at the cinema, talks from popular film directors and well-known industry players are a big attraction to students who are interested in film. The screen on the green has been going since 1913, so 100 years next year. Um, it's one of the five longest running cinemas in the UK. Um, we've had some pretty amazing stuff happen here throughout the past. Like, can maybe see that a little later, but we've had the a midnight special used there play music gigs here, and the Sex Pistols and the Clash played one of their first breakout gigs right inside there. So, and um, we also do a lot of um, Q and A's with directors. We've had a lot of big people come through here um, to talk about their films, the screen films. We've had Quentin Tarantino come to show Kill Bill when that first came out. Uh, we actually still have the print of the film upstairs. He forgot to take it with him. But he said that it was his favourite cinema in the UK when he was here. If you want to go to a cinema with a bit more to offer than your usual, then Every Man is for you. Although it may be a bit pricier than a trip to your student union, its good customer service and great drinks and snacks gets a four star rating from the Arts London News and is somewhere we'd certainly recommend for students. This is Aisha Armani reporting for the Arts London News. <laughs>